Welcome back to your weekly dose of the Bravoverse. Well, today I'm back to spill some major, major tea on DJ James Kennedy. Did I mention it was major? Apparently, there's a lot more to this one than meets the eye, and just by the way, this major tea might also be the reason he and Rachel didn't work out. Now, before we even dive into the main tea, I really just want to get something off my chest. Um, why does Rachel end up choosing the worst men ever? Ugh, it's just so infuriating. I mean, with this tea on James and with what Tom's been doing, it really feels like she has the worst taste in men, right? Okay, anyway, so back to the major tea. Now, Rachel's dishing out all the spicy deets on her podcast, Rachel Goes Rogue, and oh my god, guys, it's amazing. I never thought I'd be a fan of hers. <laughs> and as if this was enough, her former pal Sheena Shea is dropping some major tea on her own podcast, Shenanigans. Huh. So get this, right? A fan straight up asked Sheena if Rachel ever said anything about James being abusive, and Sheena, being the gossip queen she is, spilled the tea. Apparently, Rachel denied any physical abuse but we all know James has a temper, especially when he hit the bottle. Yeah, um, so according to Sheena, Rachel did tell her the so-called real reason behind her and James' breakup, but Sheena obviously doesn't want to reveal it. I mean, I guess she doesn't want to foster more drama. Or maybe it's just girl code. Either way, it's too sad for me, because I live on that drama. Rachel is also keeping pretty quiet on the whole thing, but lucky you, because there's some stuff I know. Wink wink. <laughs> Now, do you remember when Christian Dute and James were dating and Christian straight up punched James in the face at Sheena's first wedding? Yeah, that was wild. And well, that isn't it. So Christian's been dropping hints about other instances of physical abuse from James. And those Reddit threads, they're filled with claims of witnesses hearing Christian spill the tea about James' violent streak. Like, what? Are you serious? Christian also addressed the issue on her podcast with her boyfriend Luke, where he states that DJ James Kennedy has a DJ name now. DJ Beats. DJ Beats Women, allegedly. That's so effed up. Did you imagine? Out of all the things, James turns out to be an abuser. Ironic, surprise, surprise. Um, well, then I think for one, this is what Rachel has been hiding about him. Like, whenever she used to tell Sheena that he's not abusive, I think she was lying. Who hasn't lied for someone they love? Or did even Sheena lie for James to protect the show? Ugh. And let's not forget that Mexico incident where James got into it with one of Brock's buddies. Yeah, mm-hmm, things got physical real quick there too. Plus, we've all seen James' fiery temper on camera, lashing out of Rachel and others with some seriously harsh words. Oh my god, this reminds me of that moment. So listen, right, there was this one time on the show, Rachel showed up late for her shift after getting caught up in the Pride Parade. But instead of a warm welcome late from her supposed boyfriend James, she literally became a victim of some dreadful verbal abuse. James basically told her to go take a long walk off a short pier for missing his set. But Rachel tried to explain she had zero service and was caught up in the parade, but James was not ready to listen. He was all go yourself. And heck, he was being insanely rude. Like, honestly, if my boyfriend talked to me like that using those words in that tone, I'd ditch him in a second. Which is honestly what Rachel should have done, but the girl just went on to suffer abuse at his hands. Hmm. I don't know what she was thinking, but I guess love can make you blind indeed. Even during that time, fans were not having it. Twitter literally blew up with people calling out James for his outburst and expressing major concern for Rachel. They labeled it abuse even then, but of course, love struck Rachel did not end up listening to them. But you know, for me, the infuriating part is that stuff like this is forgotten so easily. Like, ugh, people just forget incidents like these happen and that it's literally how girls like Rachel are stuck in abusive relationships. Remember that season 10 reunion where James allegedly smacked a waitress's butt? Uh, yeah, that got swept under the rug real fast. Also, the producers and even Lisa Vanderpump seem to hide and thus tolerate such behavior of cast members. I would never speak of or assume support for an abuser. So many incidents make it obvious that James has some clear temper issues. I mean, he's hit random people. He always gets so angry on screen, and two of his exes even outright said or implied in one way or another that he's abusive. Like, what more evidence do we even need? And you know what? The worst part is, this isn't even where it ends. He wasn't just abusive to Rachel during the relationship, the man took it as far as being verbally abusive to her after the relationship ended. Can you imagine the audacity? Ugh, I don't even know what to say. He commented on an Instagram post about Rachel's former friendship with Ariana Maddox, and to be very honest, he took a really, really cheap shot. Um, he basically accused Rachel of oversharing with Ariana, implying she's been a bit too loose-lipped about her personal life. That's fine, exes say stuff like that, but the way he said it, it's just, 
It's so insane. He really had to go for the low blow, suggesting that Rachel is young and free and, um, spreading her legs. Yeah, you heard that right. It's such a low blow. I don't even want to repeat that. It just, ugh. And to make matters even more cringeworthy, he threw in a bunch of laughing emojis like it's all just some big stupid joke. But let me put it on the record and say there's nothing funny about this kind of trash talk. It's just so disrespectful. And to think they were engaged, it's just, God, it feels so insane and I know I've said that a lot. <laughs> But now I feel like the cycle's repeating again. James has a new girlfriend for a while, Allie, but I mean, someone who's allegedly been abusive to both his previous partners, what's to say he won't do the same again? In fact, if you ask me, people like these always tend to make the same mistakes. So honestly, I fear for Allie, if anything. I honestly love Allie. I mean, don't we all? I hope that girl is not stuck in an abusive relationship. But like, she's always out there defending her man and telling everyone nothing like this has happened. So who knows? Basically, after the MTV Movie and TV Awards, there was this car ride heading to a Tom Tom after party, and things apparently got a little heated. Teddy Mellencamp and Tamara Judge had to play peacemakers and separate some people in the car. Now, the gossip was that James was right in the middle of it all, but apparently, Ali stepped up to clear the air. According to her, yeah, there was a bit of a squabble between her and James during that ride, but it was all just words flying, nothing physical. Um, I don't know who believes that because I really don't. But Allie made it crystal clear James never laid a finger on her in a harmful way. She's safe, she's sound, and she's standing by her man. According to her, during that incident, they were just a bit drunk, and when the two are intoxicated, they often get feisty, to say the least. If you ask me, Allie might just be keeping quiet like Rachel did when she was James' girlfriend. People in a relationship tend to keep quiet about stuff like this, guys, and they just suffer through it alone. I really hope that's not what's happening here, but it's hard to say. Okay, one last thing. So there's also a twist coming up in this messed up story. So on episode three of season 10 of the show, Rachel poured her heart out to Lisa Vanderpump, confessing that she still had love for James. She was pretty shaken up, sharing how hurt she was that James seemed to move on with Allie so quickly after their breakup. Um, what? Girl, you are not thinking straight. I swear, guys, if this story takes a weird turn and Rachel would come back on Vanderpump Rules, I hope she thrives and stands above all that drama. But, 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 James also had something to say about Rachel's love confession back then. On a recent episode of Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, James said he thought that Rachel's still trying to figure things out and maybe her declaration of love wasn't quite the in love kind of thingy. So, um, I guess that's a no to reunion from his side. <laughs> but that was quite sure after the whole Scandaval story, wasn't it? She's fine the way she is, which is without them damn boys. What do you say? Do you think Rachel should stay single for a while? Do you believe her allegations against James? Will Bravo ever take responsibility for who they led on their shows? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for all the Real Housewives tea and drama. See you next time.